Okay, for this next part you're going to need two items. Of course you're going to need your GoPro camera and then from the accessory bag we were just in what you need to do is you need to take out the little pack that's got uh, a little USB connector and a spare ribbon connector but actually all we need is the little USB connector. Now this is the ribbon connector that DJI are now using it is actually quite fragile you've got to be careful with it this is why you get a spare one so when you're putting it on just obviously it will be going into the very sort of small slot so just be very careful when you're uh, popping it in there in fact if I just move that round I think this is the best way to do is just to pinch it in your fingers there and then it should push in and then that's it in that's see it's quite thin and you've got to watch you've got to remember as well when you pull your GoPro off the back plate remember to pull that out first otherwise it tends to just pull it straight out which is not going to be a good thing doing it time and time again it'll eventually split okay next part we're going to need from the pack again we need this camera retaining bracket and the two and a half mil by 6.3 mil screw so we'll need two of those okay now the next stage we're going to actually fit the gopro onto the actual back plate so the first thing you need to do you just pull the little retaining clip back set the gopro onto the back plate then get your screw on your screwdriver now I'm trying to position this so you can see it but it's a bit difficult with all the undercarriage in the way and then what you do is take your mounting bracket place that over the front of your GoPro line it up with the holes and pop that screw in so now there are two of these, you need to actually, believe it or not, you need to put both on, otherwise if the bracket's not pulled tight in against the camera, it can actually cause all sorts of weird problems for the gimbal. The gimbal can start making funny noises and vibrating and pulsing. So watch out for that one, put them both on. Now once you've got that on, you need to now plug in the USB connection onto the camera. So now B, try and get this so you can see it, so be very careful when you're plugging this in. As I keep saying, the ribbon is really fragile. And then that's it, just push it home. And that's basically the camera installed onto the bracket. Now, if you're only ever using your Phantom, uh, sorry, your, your GoPro on your Phantom, you could leave the camera actually already mounted on. Unfortunately, to get to the memory card, you do have to remove the, uh, the USB socket, unfortunately. But that is that already mounted on for the next part of the video.